What's up, everyone? It has been a minute. I don't think Lucky's ever appeared in a video. Uh, it's usually my other cat, Jinx, who's always uh, video bombing. But Lucky's here today, and she's in heat. Hopefully she doesn't end up uh, messing up that CD book that I have sitting right there. Uh, anyway, though, uh, I got a package here from Relapse Records. They brought their grab bags back for Black Friday. Uh, there was five records for $25 and 30 CDs for $20. Uh, I got one of each. Uh, they shipped separately though because the vinyl grab bag had actually went live a day before it was supposed to. And I just pulled the trigger on it then. And then obviously the uh, CD one the next day, the day it was supposed to be live. Uh, the vinyl grab bag is, they say, is guaranteed to have one clear record, which, as far as I know, um, every time there is a vinyl pressing of a record, there is a hundred that is printed on clear vinyl or pressed onto clear vinyl, and those are saved for friends and family of the band and the label. Not a mate, they're not made available to the public, and hoping for some good stuff believe I got the uh, album covers facing downward so I don't know what I'm getting but let's hope these are good uh, this first one is admission by torch I believe this is their most recent album I think it came out last year yep last year I believe they fall into like sort of post rock or traditional metal I'm not entirely sure. I haven't listened to them that much. It's just on black vinyl. And there's an insert in there somewhere. Uh, they were making waves with this release. Uh, they play, They headlined the Electric Funeral Festival in Denver last year. And then they were also on one of the late night shows uh, last year as well, playing one of the songs. I think it might have been the title track, but I'm not completely sure. But uh, they played the title. They played... A song on one of the late night shows which that's dope so can't say I'm not disappointed with that I just wish I knew more about it though uh, this next one is weapon with embers and revelations this is a band I don't actually know about uh, this looks like some uh, mastodon type artwork though no protective sleeve around the record. Nice. But Marble Gray. This kind of reminds me of one of the first pressings of Red Before Black that uh, Cannibal Corpse had. Their most recent album. Uh, MDF 2013. Limited to 100 copies. So I'm guessing this obviously was made specially for the Maryland Death Fest in 2013. And still some copies lingering. Can't wait to give that a shot. Uh, next up is Ceremony in the Spirit World Now. Is what it's called. Yeah, in the Spirit World Now. I've heard about this band, but I don't know anything about it. Um, printed in her sleeve. Colored vinyl. Nice. Download code 2. Sorry, no one's getting it, just in case I do like it. Clear with green, yellow, and orange splatter. Looks nice. Can't wait to give it a listen. Fuck it, I'm not going to fuck with this one right now. Next up, Ringworm, Death Becomes My Voice. Hell yeah. Ringworm, I feel, is a super underrated band. Uh, I believe this was their most recent record. Yep, came out last year. Uh, Death Becomes My Voice, I would rank this up there with uh, Justin Re or Justice Replaced by Revenge. And this is the one that's on clear vinyl. There's 11 songs, I believe. And if you don't know Ringworm... I feel like they're super underrated personally. They are some incredible metallic hardcore leaning pretty heavily into the thrashy side, I would say. This one comes with this nice booklet here, the lyrics, and then a poster basically of the album artwork. That's dope. Uh, 
I like Ringworm. I don't, I haven't listened to all of their stuff. It's pretty much just been the first three records and then this one are the ones I've listened to. But I know Justice Replaced by Revenge is one that a lot of people look at pretty highly by them. So yeah, if uh, you're a fan of Metallic Hardcore, especially when it goes to the Thrasher side and you haven't listened to Ringworm yet, fucking do it. You are missing out. And then this last one is Pinkish Black with Concept Unification. I haven't listened to this record, but on one of their, uh, one of the previous Relapse Grab Bags, this one's clear vinyl too. That's pretty cool. Um, their album Bottom of the Morning, I believe, was in there, and... I was not a huge fan of it. Uh, Pinkish Black is sort of doomy on the stoner side of things, and I'm not the biggest fan of that type of music. I mean, I'll give this one a shot for sure to see if I like it, but given how Bottom of the Morning went, I don't have high hopes for it either. This one's their most recent record too. It came out uh, last year. I'm pretty sure all of them, except for that Maryland Death Fest one, came out last year. Torch, Ringworm, Pinkish Black, and then Ceremony. Yeah, these are all pretty new releases, so... Yeah, I'm excited to give the couple that I haven't listened to a shot. Um, I'm going to link uh, band camps and... Uh, a couple of other things, YouTube, if I can't find Bandcamp links, down in the description so you can find these yourself. Like I said, the grab bags are unfortunately sold out now, so you have to wait until the next time they become available to get one. But, yeah, thank you all for watching. I know it's been a while. Hopefully I'll get back on the grind of things. It's the end of the year, so the year-end list is coming for sure. And, yeah. Catch you next time, whenever that next time may be. be, may be. Uh, hopefully it's not another four months, though.